Minnesota is recent month. And uh, he's been sweeping up around the ashram, doing his meditation, saying his mantras, being vegetarian, making sure he doesn't kill anything, staying celibate, trying to keep his thoughts in order. He's been doing this for like 15, 20 years now, right? He's been doing it for a long time. So he's just tired one day. He comes in after work and he goes up to the Buddha. He says, Buddha, man, I've been doing my thing around here, you know, practicing my mantra, meditation, everything, sweeping up around the ashram, you know, 15 years now, man. I didn't even see what I'm doing it for. Can you show me what heaven is? And so the Buddha says, Oh, you want to see heaven? I'll show you heaven. Yeah, no problem. Man. No problem. First, you got to see hell, though. So the monk's like, all right, well, if I could see heaven, I'll go see hell. So he's like, all right, well, you ready? Let's go see hell. So he's like, all right. So they go down to hell. There's a big door. So we're just saying that the door right open. He says, you ready? The monk says, yeah, I'm ready. So open the door. There's a table. As far as the eye can see, boom. Piled on the table, just massive amounts of food. A veritable feast. And there's people sitting at either side of the table, all along the whole table. The table's full. It's a full house. People are confused though. They're sitting looking at the food, and they just can't eat it. Because these people, they're just like regular people, except at the end of their riff. Instead of a hand, there's these five foot long forks. And they can't get the food into their mouth. So it's really confusing. Like everyone's like, nobody's happy. Like, like okay, well, like, almost like, this is hell, okay, this is weird. Food is like, you know, reading his thoughts and he's just like, fucked up, huh? Yeah, pretty fucked up. He's like, alright, alright, enough of this, you ready to see heaven? Like, yeah, yeah, let's go see heaven, man. This is crazy. So, Buddha takes them up to heaven. And uh, they get to the door. It's the same door. The same exact door. So, the monk is kind of confused now. He's like, okay. Buddha's like, you're reading this thought and everything. He just knows, he knows what the deal is. He's like, alright, you ready for this? The monk's like, alright, I'm ready. Opens the door. Same table. Same food. As far as the eye can see, variable feast people on either side of the table. Same people. Same forks. At the end of their wrist, five foot long forks. But these people are happy. These people are eating. They're having a great time because everybody's feeding each other. 